For me, approaching a role for the second time is, it, it's very rewarding, um, and it's also something you don't get to do a lot. I think of roles kind of like a, you know, like a favorite book that you're revisiting. Each time you read it, you find new things that you love about it and things that you may have missed before, and you see it in a whole new light. My body has remembered a lot of it. I owned the experience so much, like you really have to, it become the character in a lot of ways, so I remembered all those feelings. They came back to me because they were a part of me. When Paul announced that we were doing this ballet again, I had this combination of um, excitement and panic because I remembered just how hard it was. And I also think, you know, if something becomes physically easier in one area, instead of saving your energy, all you do is push somewhere else. So the very first time you do it, it's as hard as the last because you're just giving more in different places. Yeah, one of the best parts about doing this ballet, again, has been working with my partner, John. I think we shared so much in the studio, communicating and talking about the roles and what we wanted to do with them, um, and then, you know, living it every day for, for weeks. Sometimes working with a partner in a ballet like that, it feels like you've lived a lifetime together because you've just been through the best and the worst. You see each other at the best and the worst, and you just go through it together. And I, I've never had that experience with anyone else. When I look back on doing roles, I, I, I'll never say I, I wish I would have hit that arabesque better or done that turn better. I always think, like, did I give enough of myself? Did I emotionally fulfill my duties to myself and to the audience? So for me, it's, it's, it's kind of checking those things and going back and saying, am I giving as much as I can?